How, how many of you have already had um, an, a, a knee pain in your life? That's a common problem. And the reason why, it's because the knee is very fragile. Uh, you have two, three bones, in fact, and multiple uh, soft tissues, and it moves into six directions. So as if you get this mechanics modified in your life, you expose your knee to pain, other symptoms, uh, functional uh, um, incapacities, and so on. And another huge problem uh, is knee osteoarthritis. Knee OA is the most common problem uh, for knees, and it affects one person out of six in the United States, one person out of 10 in Canada. And the main cause of OA is this mechanics, which is modified. Um, if you had an injury before, when you were a teenager or a young adult, you get 57% chances to have OA in your life prematurely. And same thing if, if you are obese and if you have misalignment of, of your knee. So it's a, it's a degenerative disease and uh, it uh, creates a lot of cost to, to you as a patient and to the healthcare system as well. The problem is uh, today we, ne we only treat the pain. We do not... Um, we do not try to target these mechanical deficiencies that you have in your knee. And this is the huge problem that uh, more and more physicians try to address. Um, the American College of Rheumatology issued a press release last year saying the current approach to knee OA is mainly pain medicamentation and nothing else is done to treat this disease. And the other problem is uh, because physicians and uh, health, well, other healthcare professionals um, do not address the, this, they don't, don't have tools to address the mechanics of the knee. They recommend MRI, CT scan, X-ray, and it's cost a fortune. Um, almost half of them, 50% uh, of those MRI and CT scan and so on, uh, are not useful for knee OA. And the consequences are um, that patients are unsatisfied with the healthcare system and. 46% will seek for a second advice in a year because they don't have responses to their knee pain. And the physicians um, don't like this situation. They don't like to see a patient saying, well, I don't know what, what to do with your knee. And they refer only to this, this, this person uh, to go back home and stop golfing, stop skiing, and uh, everything that the person likes to do. So... Um, I'm more about the um, market. Uh, there are about 20 million of people in the U.S. consulting per year for a knee problem, and uh, this is growing dramatically. And the average cost of people spending out-of-pocket expenses for knee pain is, uh, is also huge, N not only in the United States, but also in Canada. Um, the value proposition that we have is a knee KG. This is the first and only tool worldwide that is able to properly measure this mechanical deficiency, fit deficiency that you have in your knee. Um, this is um, a real-time um, system. Uh, it takes 20 minutes to do a test. It's weight-bearing, and it measures all of the six degrees of freedom that you have. But basically, it's a 15 to 20 minutes test. It's a technician that performs uh, the test. And it's, uh, there is an immediate report that is given to the physician. So what is the value proposition for doctors and patients? First, if you address those mechanical deficiencies, such as the misalignment, the various trusts, uh, those factors that are known today to be uh, directly linked to the progression of OA and the severity of OA, now you give the patients the capability to preserve the joint. And uh, so for the, for the patients, it's a solution to painkiller only. Um, what, pers what people want is to continue golfing and skiing for a long time. And for doctors and physicians, then it's a question of patient satisfaction. It's also a question of uh, optimizing OA management. It's time consuming to see a patient in his office, and there are more and more patients in doctor's office with knee pain and knee OA. And, um, explaining that uh, what is arthrosis, the difference between arthrosis and arthritis, um, what you need to do, um, it, activities, uh, and so on. So it's very time consuming for a doctor. And if they will have um, a, a system enabling them to only take two to three minutes with the, with the, with the patients, giving them their treatment plan, what they, what they need to address in their, uh, in their life to reduce 
uh, these mechanical deficiencies and then to preserve their joint, then this is a win-win for the patients and for the physicians. And for the clinics, that's the same thing. It means more patients, uh, patients uh, addressed in a more pro proper way. And of course, it's a competitive edge uh, that if you can uh, attract those people uh, that are out there and uh, who consult everywhere because they are unsatisfied. Um, is it easy to measure these mechanical deficiencies? It is not. Um, it took uh, 12 years of research and development to get there. And the core technology comes from the École de Technologie Supérieure in Quebec and two other hospitals, um, one of which one is a teaching hospital in Quebec. And um, the uh, NIC-AG is uh, as a 93% of specificity, specificity and sensibility to OA. We are able to grade uh, the different uh, stage of the disease, grade one to grade four. And uh, we received a peer acknowledgement in January uh, that this is the only tool that exists so far enabling physicians to understand the degenerescence of OA. Uh, we have um, five patents on the attachment system that goes on the knee, uh, also one PCT applications for the Dynoxix applications for the NKG, and another provisional patent uh, filed for the uh, uh, elaborating a treatment plan for the, for the patient. We also have uh, fusion imaging capabilities and, uh, uh, for the, knee, the uh, implant companies. In terms of competitions, we complement MRI and X-rays in, in a sense that uh, those tools are there to give an image, a static image of the knee joints. We complement in giving the, um, the movement, what it looks like. When, when you have a pain, it occurs when you move, when you bend your knee, when you ski, or whatever the activities that, that you are um, doing. So it gives a better comprehension of what's going wrong than any other tools that exist so far. The only thing that is close to what we do is gait labs, but it takes three to six hours to do a patient, and it takes almost the same time to compute data. It looks like this, a, a, a university gait labs, and the problem they have is um, they have the skin movement artifact and the muscle also movement artifact, which cause problems with accuracy and, and reproducibility. Um, the strategy to build value, of course, is to apply this uh, in a clinic, orthopedic clinic with integrated people, a physic, sport med physicians, rheumatologists, orthopedic surgeons working together to address knee OA from the um, mid-stage to uh, surgical um, stage of the disease. And um, the, of course, uh, working with clinics could take a, a times to get them to adopt your technology. So we work the B2B approach as well with gate labs to reduce costs, uh, braces companies and also implant companies to bring the functional alignment into the uh, fittings of the implant when you do have a surgery for to replace your knee. Um, in terms of sales, we have already started sales. The, the product is 510K approved, Health Canada approved as well. And uh, we have started with uh, seven sales and we are uh, growing the, the uh, company right now and this is the reason why of, uh, we are seeking for financing. The team, I could get back to you later on in the discussions, but uh, we have a strong management team uh, within the medical device area and also a scientific advisory board. And we do work with David Hunter, one of the main key opinion leaders worldwide in, key op in uh, osteoarthritis. The investment opportunity, we have seven NIKG sold so far. Um, we have more than 2,000 tests performed. Uh, we work with many orthopedic surgeons, rheumatologists. We have more than 80 peer-reviewed papers. Um, we work with implant companies as well to integrate into their system. And uh, we have invested so far $5 million in the technology, and uh, we have been lucky to raise non dilutive uh, capital. We seek for a financing of $1 million to be able to address the next two years for us uh, for, to grow the, uh, for our growth strategy with key opinion leaders. And uh, the, we're working also on an exit to make sure that uh, in four years fr uh, fr from now, we are able to uh, um, give the opportunity to investors to exit. So this is where we are. And uh, one la remaining thing that I need to tell you is that the, the technology has been selected by Better World Report last year as one of the 23 technologies that will change uh, people's way of life. Thank you.
My background, I'm a lawyer, so, uh, but I've been in business development within the life sciences industry for the past 15 years. And um, since I'm uh, very young, I wanted to build my, my own company. And uh, for me, uh, I started in, uh, in about 2000s, uh, working on different uh, startups and so on, and, uh, with, and uh, founded Imovi in 2006. You don't need to be a doctor to use it. Uh, a trained technician is uh, normally a, kines a kinesiologist, a physical therapist, and they do the reports for the doctors. And the doctors use this report, and it's really uh, clinically friendly. They can uh, understand the, uh, the uh, language and to uh, tailor the, the, the uh, treatment plan for their patients. And uh, your next question was? The, what, the one million four? Is to basically to... Um, address uh, what we are doing is we work with key opinion leaders. We ask them to publish data, generate data, and to, well, to, to create the, 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 to document the, the economic value of our system, to demonstrate, for example, that uh, uh, you can um, reduce the no X numbers of MI per year, you reduce the number of visits of patients per year. So we ask them to publish on those ty type of things and to also publish on, cl on clinical aspect of the use of our system and to, to help them to, 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 um, to undergo some, uh, um, generate some clinical data, they need support. And this is why it is for, and to build our sales force as well. We do not intend to, uh, to have a huge sales force. We do intend to work with distributors, and we have started to do that. But it takes time and money to do it. To do it. <laughs>